Welcome to Sigmund Minisode 2. This is another free short game set in the To The Moon universe. And it probably won't make much sense if you haven't played the original game or the previous Minisode, so I would highly recommend checking those out if you haven't. They're absolutely excellent, and I'll have links to them in the description. So just to give you a quick catch-up on what happened in the previous Minisode, we spent a bit of time at Sigmund Corporation, and found out that a lot of protesters were hanging out around there, kind of throwing tomatoes and stuff. Meaning that what Sigmund Corporation does, implanting false memories as a kind of wish-fulfillment service, is not entirely welcomed by the public. Alright, let's begin. Well, at least they're starting to leave. Guess we'll save the cleanup for after the break. We ought to get that external fruit collector set up. Perfectly cooled in the snow and kept fresh, too. Uh-huh. Get this. It's like we're inside, and the fridge is outside. Mind blown? Sure, good job. I knew it. I wonder if the others are leaving early, now that the road's cleared. Eh, might as well. I can't believe the calls pushed our Christmas party this late. Are you heading home early, too? Yeah, why not? I'm spending the eve with my sister's family. They don't live far from here. With her little brat, huh? Yeah, well, their little brat still got me a better gift than yours. Hey, at least I tried to get something for my partner. Unlike a certain somebody. Guess again. What is that? It's an ambient sound maker. It cycles through soothing background sounds like the beaches or a chorus of crickets. Check this out. It sounds like something I could do on my phone. Oh yeah? Well, this also allows for recording a custom track of your own to loop back. Just press record, and you can make your own custom ambient sound to work to. Again, phone. I guess neither of us are particularly good gifters. Hey, I'll still take it. I'll probably record Rob getting scalded to the custom track and fall asleep to it or whatnot. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. How about you? You got plans? Well... Oh, ho, ho, come here, you stud. <laughs> Is it the wine, or have you been getting handsomer by the day? My dear, I'm sober as a brick and you're still steamy like a hot bun. When I looked into your eyes just then, it's as if I'm hearing the gentle waves of the ocean. Oh, you naughty little vixen. If not for my back, I'd just pick you up and... Hey. Hey. It's snowing outside. Yeah. It, it, it sure is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Okay, I think that's enough for today. Yep. I'm heading out. You do that. Oh, so I can use the mouse, but I can also use the arrow keys. Uh, I think I'd prefer to. I forgot how you play this game. It's an RPG Maker game, so I think it's like X and Z to do stuff. Uh, or, or C. So it makes our job possible. What is this? I guess that's the neural interface or whatever it is. I don't know. Alright, well, let's not use the mouse, let's use the arrow keys. It's a little bit better. Oh, hey. Thanks for the sound machine and whatnot. Sheesh. Don't be too grateful now. Is he just staring at a wall? Uh, I guess there's a window there, although you can't see it. Looks like he's just st staring at a blank wall. Weirdo. Hello? Who is this? Hello? Hmm. That was strange. There's gotta be some meaning to that. And it mentioned on the website, by the way, that the previous minisode was... It, it had a little bit of kind of plot and it fleshed out the world a little bit more. But for the most part, it was kind of just a little fun kind of sidetrack. But it did mention that this episode is actually a bit more plot-heavy. I can't click on that thing, right? No, okay. Just checking. I'm supposed to be going home, so I suppose I should go to the lobby. But let's go to the lounge. Party's over, for the most part. I'm so relieved that we're finally getting a break. It'll be nice to spend some time with the family. Have a good evening, Lisa. You deserve it. Everyone does. Especially Willis and Tama. To be honest, I'm worried about them. Yeah, they do work way too hard for their age. Honestly, I don't think I'd be able to do theirs when the time comes. Man, I know Herman's Herman Corporation's got our night covered by contract and all, but I still feel kind of uneasy. There are competitors, after all. Yeah, but I guess that's one of the few ways to get some reliable time off in this job. Besides, we'll be doing the same thing for them. So they'd better do a good job. Yeah, so I think Sigmund Corporation... As far as I know, I think they specialize, and possibly even exclusively, deal with uh, putting false memories in people that are basically near death. On their deathbed, basically. To finally fulfill their, their wildest dreams right before they die. So given that they're working with patients that are just about to die, time is of the essence. So I think that's what they mean by another company being on call and feeling nervous and stuff like that. Because you can't just take a week off. You know, if you, if you take a week off and nobody else does it, then you have uh, dozens, maybe hundreds of people that have now died without getting their wishes fulfilled. 
potentially. So it's a very on-call sort of job. Ava, about earlier. Hey, don't worry about it. No, Lass, you don't understand. You see, sometimes when a man loves a woman... Oh, shush you. stuff still back at the office. Oh, son of a... Hey, Ava. Hey, Eddie. How's... Oh, no, no, no. Wait. Oh, no, no, no. Door? What? Oops. My bad. Oh, well. No biggie. <laughs> What'd you freak out for? You have to wait two seconds for it to open? Hey, can you press the elevator button for me? Uh, why? I thought you just pressed it. Yeah, but it seems like it comes up instantly almost every time you press it. <laughs> I was wondering about that. <laughs> this is self-commentary on the gamey nature of this game. The kind of gamey stuff that happens. I was just thinking, why isn't it coming up for him instantly? Because it comes up for me instantly. And I just instantly dismiss the thought as, oh, because it's a game, you know? Of course it comes up instantly because it's, you know, trying to expedite matters so you don't have to just sit in front of an elevator. That's silly. It's just luck. Well, come on. Just give it a try. <laughs> what the... Thanks. <laughs> that is awesome. I love that. Which place is mine? Let's see. Each name tag is about two pixels. This is not my office. At least, I hope not. Mine's probably the open door, I suppose, but who are you? You alright, Roxy? Oh, hey, Ava. Yep, I'm just waiting on Rob. His ride's under maintenance, so we're carpooling. Hey, Rob! You ready? Just a minute! Anyway, what you up to? Uh, not much. Just heading home to have dinner with my sister's family. We always have our Christmas dinner together, and they've been waiting. Well, how nice of them. The turkey surely wouldn't have stuck around had it been me. I bet. You got any plans tonight? Well, I gotta meet up with some folks later. But first, I got a date with a good old couch and ice cream. I'm gonna grab a whole bucket and scoop it, and then I'm gonna spoon it. Sounds like a lovely time. It actually does, that sounds awesome. Although I'm not sure spooning your ice cream would make much sense. I think it would just get all over you and kind of melt, wouldn't it? I think I'd rather eat it. Yep, yep. Okay, what stuff do I need? Dear Diary, today I... Shoot, not again. 
The door was open too. Better lock it away for good. Here we go. Is that all I need? Think so. I just got ready, but now Dr. Winters forgot her stuff. You ready yet? Almost! Heading off? You're still here? Yep. And I'm staying here tonight. Wait, what? Everyone's heading home. What can I say? It's just the kind of hard-working Samaritan that I am. Coming through! Neil? Bob? It's Robert. Rob? <laughs> Anyway, have a good evening at your sister's place. You're really just gonna stay here on the only break we've gotten in months. Yep. All this mansion to myself? Yes, please. Alright then. He's up to something. Hey, if you want. Hmm? Never mind. Was she gonna ask him to join her? You know, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to remember back to, to the moon. Were they ever... Um, Ava and Dr. Neil. Were they ever... Like, did they have... Husbands? Wives? Girlfriends? Are they together? Are they romantically interested in each other? I know they're partners. They're partners in the job. I... I don't think they were ever romantic with each other. And I can't remember if they have anybody else. Yeah, I can't remember. Anyway. Ava? Hey, sis. I'm heading over now. Yep, there he is. He's staying there all by himself? But isn't this like Christmas for you guys? Yeah, well, I don't know what he's up to. Hun, you should invite him over to dinner. What? <laughs> don't be absurd. You're thinking too much into it, silly. I don't mean for anything else, just for... Co-worker's sake, you know? I know the guy. He's not one to come over. Anyways, get the dishes started, will you? I'll be there in just a bit. Okay, hun. I'll see you then. Ava? What was that? You okay, hun? Are you there, Ava? Uh... 
Ava, can you hear me? I yeah, I'll be there in just a bit. Okay, hun, I'll see you then. Thirtieth time's the charm. And the moment of truth. Circuit abnormality detected. Main power disconnected. What the... How does that even... I better get down to the basement and reset the switch before someone sees. At least the elevator's on auxiliary power. I could reach the basement from the lobby. Okay, so he's obviously using equipment that he shouldn't be using. Wait, I thought the elevator still worked. Because of auxiliary power? Does it not? Oh, wait a minute, I was pressing the wrong key. Whoops. I was pressing X, I forgot, it's, it's C. Supposed to oh <laughs> that's a platform <clears throat> this game is harder than Dark Souls for a tech facility the power supply sure is unreliable Access profile loaded. Dr. Neil Watts. Access time, 1947. Alright, let's get you booted up first. Power status. Charging for reignition. And now let's see what happened to you. It's almost as if someone did a manual shutoff. Fetching operation record. I don't understand. This can't be right. There must be a glitch in the system. Who's there? Press space to beat the ghost over the head with a broom or a mop. Okay, this is too fun. Let's kind of dust some cobwebs here, clean the place up. That's ah, dusty down here. Place doesn't get maintained often. 
I guess the janitors don't want to come into the creepy basement. All these cobwebs. Footprints. Who... But the door was locked. <laughs> I just hit her over the head. There you are. Power restored. How's the towel, hun? That helps. Thanks. What's wrong with you? Ain't nobody gonna whack my sister like that. Sheesh, it was an accident, alright? Your face was an accident. Do you just go around the office swinging a broom around all day? Look, I was in beast mode, and she just suddenly appeared on my turf. <laughs> beast mode? What? It's not my fault that I was born with such crazily fast reflexes. Why did you guys come over, anyway? You're one to ask. Staying all alone in the office on your holiday off? Who does that? Oh, they were coming by to invite me to dinner. It was her idea. Darn right it is. I ain't having no partner of my sister sold by himself on a night like this. I wasn't s You just shut up and listen. Ava called in some old friends, and we're all gonna have a nice dinner together. And you're gonna enjoy every moment of it. Wow. You kind of remind me of someone I know. There, there, hun. It's actually not that bad. What was that? Why is he still here? Shoo! Shoo! Sorry. Can I open the box, Dad? Can I? Go ask Aunt Eva. It's not ours. Also, I think I've been pronouncing her name Eva and Ava. I'm not really sure which way to do it. Eva, Ava. Eh, they're both fine. Man, Neil. We've only just got here and you've already got Tracy all worked up. Workplace hazard. Can't help it. Yeah, it's a dangerous place. Don't even want to imagine what you do with a mop. Our insurance policy forbids me from handling one. Dude, what's in the box? <laughs> uh, we actually don't know. What? Yeah, come to think of it, those exact same boxes were here last year, too. Well, can we open them? No, I don't know whose they are. So they just sit here. Yep, that's what they do. I don't get it. Me neither. Okay, is it time to go? Oh, hiya! I thought you went home. Yeah, I thought so too. But as I was happily picking out on the couch, Ava called and asked for a pickup. What? But she's already here. Hello! What the? Hi, Uncle Neil! The last time you two came by, you called me Poo Poo Face. That was Tommy. 
He's mean. I don't even know what the hell that is. Bla la la la? Is he singing? Bla la 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 la. Wow, that kid's grow <laughs> that kid's growing up to be a lizard. <laughs> I don't know why I find that so funny. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't even make any sense. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Compose yourself. Uh, <laughs> sorry, Lily. It's been a while, Neil. Yep. Ava just dragged you guys right out of your loving home, huh? Uh, it's nice to come and visit. The kids were eating, getting bored at home anyway. Wow, wow, wow. Let's go talk inside. We could be missing dinner by now. Oh, yes. I should go say hi. Yeah, he's going back up now that the power is on, right? Going back up to his secret... I think I'm going to go find him as he's doing his secret. And why is little Tommy spinning around like a top? Hey, are you a real doctor? What do you mean? Like, do you do surgeries and stuff? No? Then you're not a real doctor. Do you listen to Dr. Dre? No. Me neither. But Neil says Dre is not a real doctor and he's still got mad respect. So back off. Yeah, you told him. What is that? A beaver? It's Blat Blat. <laughs> it's not mine, but Ma said I'm its caretaker now. I protect it from all evil. Can I see it? Are you evil? Not really. Hmm. Okay. You can have Plat Plat for five minutes. Hey, has anyone seen Neil? We ran into him in the hall, but he didn't follow us back in. Seems like he went back down for some reason. Back down to the generator? Was he checking the records some more? No, he's not down here. So he went up? Access profile loaded. Dr. Ava Rosaline. Check the record. Fetching operation record. It's gonna say I was here, isn't it? Because I saw... I, I think I saw a copy of myself. Or a ghost. Time 1939. Emergency manual shutdown by Dr. Neil Watts. Time 1947. Manual restart by Dr. Neil Watts. Wait. So he saw himself. Or, well, I mean, he didn't see himself, but... When he read who did, who did the manual shutdown, it was himself. And I saw myself when I was in the car. Why are we seeing copies? Weird. Why did he shut down and then restart it himself? Check the settings. No point in messing with the power. Okay. I mean, I would say that maybe there's some sort of like a side effect from using that machine that's causing us to hallucinate. I need to find Neil. Yep. Oh, I guess he. Hmm. 
Went out the front door? Anyway, so I would think that maybe some sort of a side effect from using the machine or something, but... I mean, a side effect can't cause an actual ghost to appear and actually manually shut down a thing. Because that's something that's outside of your head, that's something manifesting. Hello? Is he receiving a phone call from himself? I just thought of that. Who's calling? Who is this? Son? Is that you, Neil? Uh... Why aren't you talking to them? Was it something they did? No. It's not them. Then what? Why did you come back? I told you already. It was my sister's idea. You could have stopped her. What? Look, thanks for coming back and bringing the folks and all. But just don't do something like that again. Do what? Where are you going? Home. I've got things to work on. What the hell's wrong with you? I don't know what's going on... I don't know what's going on there, but for pineapple's sake, loosen up. Those people came all the way out here to spend the evening with you. When was the last time you even had dinner with other people? My sister brought her family to keep you company. Even Lily and the kids came. You still remember them, right? You even made that stupid game based on that case. What are you going to do when you go home? Go eat a frozen pizza by yourself? Just give yourself a break for tonight. Sheesh. Anyway, I'm not just going to stand out here in the cold tossing words at you. You do what you want. I'm heading inside. Just know there's a chair upstairs for you, whether you're coming or not. There's Plat Plat on one of the chairs. So he did join them. That's good. Well, I really enjoyed this. It's a wonderful mixture of very funny, but at the same time there's a bit of drama and a lot of hint dropping as to some strange events that are happening and things that will perhaps be touched on in the next full To The Moon game. So, I hope you enjoyed, and thank you for watching. Also, there's an important message coming up in just a second that I think you should read.
Well? Well what? That wasn't so bad, was it? Everybody had a good time? Yeah, I guess so. Hey, can you guys give me a lift? I oh. Hey, can you guys give me a lift? Neil says he needs the company car tonight. Sure, hon. Let's get you home. None of that was real.